Now we talk about if statement, uh, conditional statement is very basic when you programming. So here we just a simple thing if, because uh, when you write document, it is not very complicated logical relationship we need. So if is uh, should be sufficient for a lot of purpose, most purpose I would say. So how to define a if condition? So we have to say slash if, and you say if condition. And when we say condition true, okay, we set it to true. Then this if con and fi, there will be the this inside will execute. And if you say condition true, uh, this will not be executed. Okay, so in this one, uh, if you run this thing, then this only this statement will execute. This one is not. Uh, let's see. So I have a document cl uh Let's look at the uh, file. Okay, the document. Uh, begin document, end document. We have a simple if and condition true. If condition this is me, then this is end. So we set it true that we run, and maybe change to this is you. So this is false. This not be run. So. Let's compile it. Then you can see only this is me is rounded and uh, uh, this is you will not be run because the condition is. So let's uh, see more complicated if is if else, which means uh, allow it to say true execute this. If not true, execute the others. So here is if condition, if false. If condition fi and l, so this is false, so this will be executed. If I condition true, this part will be executed. Okay, so let's see uh, program and how it is being done. So I have a if else. So here I have condition true, if con, else, fi. Then for this one, I execute yes, this is not me because it's true. And uh, condition false if con this is not me, no, this is you false, so no, this is you. So when you look at the compile, so that's why this is not me is from this statement, no, this is you is from second statement. So it's a uh, rather easy to understand, I hope. Uh, thanks for listening.